a lot of what we do in yoga you'll find um, is very leg centric, I feel. So a lot of leg stretching, a lot of leg strength building, but I really wanna focus on some upper body and core work today to sort of balance that out. And stretch overhead. Exhale, exaggerated motion, rain your hands down. Again. Deep breath in. Exhale. Let's do this two more times. Front of us, deep breath in, stretch your palms up to the ceiling, exhale. My ring's getting caught while I do that. Take that off. Time. Inhale up. Exhale, arms down. Another Shoulder warm-up you can do if you have a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can use a towel, a shirt, whatever you got, just laying around. I happen to have a strap because I'm in a yoga studio. So we'll take the strap in our hands, hands probably a little more than shoulder width apart, and then we'll inhale up, exhale, slowly bring it down behind you. So for this, you want to keep your elbows straight, and you can have your hands as far apart as you need to to accomplish that. So we'll inhale back overhead, exhale down in front. Let's do this a couple more times. Inhale up overhead, exhale down behind. Inhale up overhead. Exhale down behind. And you can do this at the, in the pattern of your own breath. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. Just go at your own speed. Inhale up. Exhale behind. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more time. Inhale up. Exhale. Behind. Inhale up. Exhale in front. Yeah. That's a nice shoulder stretch, nice shoulder warm up. If I don't get my shoulders limbered up, then they pinch and it hurts and it's no good. All right, now let's work on warming up our spines. So still in this seated position, roll your shoulders down and away from your ears. We want them pulled back, shoulder blades laced together, big open chest, deep breath in, and we're gonna lean over our knees and look up at the ceiling. Exhale, we're gonna Twist, ease back, not twist. You're gonna sink back, arch your back like a cat, bring your chin to your chest. Big stretch through the neck. Inhale, bring the belly forward, head falls back. Exhale, roll backwards. That was probably the word I was looking for earlier. Roll back, arch the back, chin to chest. Inhale, bring it forward, head falls back. Exhale, roll back. And 
come back to the nice <clears throat> so sitting up nice and tall again shoulders down and back away from the ears stretch up through the top of the head like there's a string pulling you up deep breath in you can't hear my tummy noises that would be embarrassing all right so now we're going to come up into a tabletop position and I can see my mic pack and it's probably not flattering all right so we want our shoulders over our wrists and our hips over our knees fingers spread out nice and wide make sure you're belly isn't dropped here we want a nice flat back so we're just going to take a second and we're going to take our gaze over our left shoulder and try to look at our left toes stretch through the side right side of the neck back to center now we'll do the same thing on the other side look over our right shoulder Try to see our toes. You probably can't. Stretch to that left side of the neck and back to center. Yay! We're done. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to take our right hand, thread it underneath our left armpit, and we're just going to bring ourselves down, lower down, face to the mat. Deep breath in. Exhale. Back up. Other side, left hand under the right armpit, face to mat. Deep breath in. Exhale. Then back up. So let's get a little spread in our knees, just a little bit wider than hip width apart, big toes together. And we're just gonna push back into a child's, extended child's pose, forehead to mat. And we just need to stretch those hips. Even though we want this to be a little more arm focused, we still can't ignore the rest of our body. We want our whole body involved in this. Deep breath in, fill the belly, exhale. All right, back up into our tabletop position. And we're gonna start with extending our left hand out and our right foot out. So we create a nice long line from our toes to our heels, stretch through the heel towards the wall. Deep breath in. We're just gonna hold this for a second. Take another breath. Then we're gonna bring our left elbow to our right knee, just like this. Tuck it in, extend it back out. Long line, stretch through the tips of the toes and the tips of the fingers. Bring it together, elbow to knee. Extend back out. Deep breath in. Now exhale while you bring your knee to your elbow. Inhale back out. Exhale knee to elbow. Inhale back out. Let's do it one more time. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, back to tabletop. Whew. And you'll feel that a lot in that supporting arm. And that's what we want. We want to build strength in those muscles in the arm that help us balance and help support us. So let's transfer our weight over to our left hand. And we're going to extend out our right arm 
and our left leg. Extend it out, stretch. Deep breath in. And on your next exhale, bring that elbow to the knee. Right elbow, left knee. Inhale, extend back out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend back out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend back out. Length through the arm, through the leg. Heel towards the wall. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend back out. Let's do one more. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, back to tabletop. <sighs> Got some of that good, good arm burn going on. Woo, woo. All right, again, we're gonna spread our knees, bring our big toes together behind us, shift our weight back into that extended child's pose and stretch those arms, give them a break. We've already got them working hard for us. Awesome, come back up into tabletop. Now we're gonna drop down into a forearm plank so we'll come down onto our elbows, step our feet back. And for me, because of my posture issues, it's important that I drop my pelvis. So once you're comfortable here, I want you to lift up that left foot and drop it back down. Lift up your right foot, drop it back down. Lift up your left foot, drop it back down. Lift up your right foot, drop it back down. Deep breath in, exhale. Drop your knees to the mat. Back up into tabletop. That's a quick little burner. <clears throat> That's great for the core. Great for those oblique muscles for stabilizing while you're kicking up. Fantastic. Okay, fingers spread nice and wide apart. We're gonna tuck our toes and we're gonna start to shift our weight back and straighten our legs into a downward dog. Straighten those legs, get them situated wherever they need to be. You can pedal, alternating, straightening one leg and then the other. Really work on stretching those legs out. Ooh, big stretch. And downward dog is a great strength builder through the arms as well. So we're just gonna hang out here for a minute. And then we're gonna pull forward into a chaturanga. Elbows tucked into the ribs. Hold, lower to the mat. <sighs> Inhale up. Tops of the feet to the mat. Exhale. Hang out here for a moment, and we're gonna go through that cycle again. So as soon as you're ready, tuck your toes. And we're gonna shift our weight back into downward dog.
hanging out here. And then back to Chaturanga. Elbows in tight to the ribs. Lower ourselves down. Cobra. That's more of an up dog. Keep a little bend in the elbows. That's a little more Cobra. Deep breath in. As soon as you're ready, tuck the toes. Back to downward dog. Stretch, lengthen through the arms. Heels as close to the mat as you can get them. Deep breath in, exhale, chaturanga. And lower yourself to the mat. Stretch up, elbows still tucked in, up at the ceiling. Deep breath in and out. All right, push back in the tabletop. Toes together, knees apart, slide back into that child's pose. Deep breath in. Sit here for a minute, keep breathing. Back up to tabletop, square up, tuck the toes. I've got music playing and the drum kick keeps making me think there's somebody here. There's not. All right, deep breath in, tuck the toes, and when you're ready, exhale into downward dog. We're gonna try, if you want to, if you're ready, to come down onto our elbows in downward dog. Yes, I am not kidding you. Drop it down. Dolphin. All right, you should feel a tremendous stretch through the back of the legs. Deep breath in. Hold this for just a little bit longer. And then walk your feet out. Let me center up here. Back into forearm plank. We're gonna do another round of foot lifts. Lift the left foot up, inhale. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, lift up the right foot. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, lift up the left foot. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, lift up the right foot. Exhale, drop it. One more time. Inhale, lift up the left foot. Exhale, drop it. Inhale, lift up the right foot. Exhale, drop it, knees to the mat. Tabletop position. Are y'all sweating yet? I'm sweating. Knees apart, toes together. Ah, oh, child's pose. So here you can either leave your arms extended and come up onto your fingertips. Really press into that stretch through the shoulders or you can sweep them to your side. And just breathe here for a minute.
All right, back up in the tabletop. <clears throat> Square up. Deep breath in. And when you're ready, tuck your toes. We're gonna exhale back into downward dog. And step the right foot up between your hands. And straighten that right leg. If you need to scoot your back foot in a little, you can do that. But we're really going for a triangle pose here. We want our front leg as straight as we can get it, back leg as straight as we can get it. And just fold over that front leg. And you'll feel a stretch through the back of the leg back of the knee, and even down through the ankle. And breathe. Hands flat to the mat. Step that right foot back. Plank position. And then we're gonna lower ourselves down, chaturanga, elbows tight into the ribs, and all the way down to the mat. Cobra. Deep breath in. And when you're ready, tuck the toes, exhale back into downward dog. Step the left foot forward. Hop that right foot closer if you need to. Extend the leg. We want as much straightness through the front leg and through the back leg as possible. Exhale, just fold over. And again, you'll feel that stretch all through the back of the leg, through the back of the knee, even down into the ankles. Pull your shoulder blades together. We want to make sure we've got a nice flat back to deepen that stretch instead of just curving over. Deep breath in. And in any of these poses, you can adjust as you need to. You'll see me adjust to make sure my back is flat. You'll see me adjust my feet. The first position you step into isn't always the most comfortable. So sometimes you sort of have to figure it out when you get there. All right, hands down to the mat. Step that left foot back back into a plank position. And then we're gonna lower ourselves down, elbows tight, slowly to the mat. Cobra one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale, come through tabletop back to child's pose. Back up to tabletop. And let's do one more round of elbow to knee. So we're gonna start with extending our left hand, left foot. Deep breath in, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale back out, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale back out, exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale back out, 
I'm losing count. Is that four? I don't know. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, back out. One more exhale, knee to elbow. Back to tabletop. Settle here for a minute. Wiggle around a little. And then we'll move over to the other side. Extend the right arm out, left leg out. Deep breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, back out. I'm getting a little wobbly. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Extend back out. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Extend back out. A couple more times. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow. Extend back out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Extend back out. Exhale, knee to elbow. Tabletop. Yay! All right, from here, we'll come back into our seated position. We'll tuck our shirt back into our pants. Deep in. And we're just gonna finish up. <sighs> Stretching the arms one last time. So let's bring our right arm across our chest, hug it in with our left arm. Deep breath in. And switch. Right arm across, left arm across, right arm up, hugging it in. between the shoulder blades, pull, up. pull it in with that left hand towards the median line, towards the middle of the body. Sit up nice and tall. Deep breath in. And we'll switch. Left elbow pulled in towards the center line of the body. Sit up nice and tall and it'll deepen that stretch for you. Deep breath in. And release. Let's do some ear to shoulder. Drop the shoulders down and away from the ears but try to bring that ear to the shoulder. So you'll feel a lot of stretch through the left side and through even the left shoulder blade. Other side, left ear to left shoulder, big stretch through the right side. Drop the chin to the chest. Back to center. All right. If you want to, you can sit here for a couple minutes 
focus on your breath. Sit up nice and tall, hands on the knees. Focus on breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And to help reinforce that breath awareness, you can sort of purse your lips together like you're blowing up a balloon as you exhale and create a little noise. Or like you're blowing out birthday candles. And for me, this just helps me stay focused on the breath and not let my mind wander as it does. So like I said, you can hang out here and keep breathing, practicing your meditation, or you can get dressed and go to work like I'm about to do. Anyway, it was so great for you guys to join me. I so appreciate it. And you did a really good job. So be proud of yourselves. Be proud that you took the time to do this for yourself. Be grateful to your body. And have a really good day. Thanks.